Albert Einstein died on April 18, 1955. Now here's a little known fact. The doctor who performed the autopsy decided to steal Einstein's brain. He wasn't doing it to keep a piece of Einstein for himself, but he wanted to study Einstein's brain to see what made it so special, to see if you could look at Einstein's brain and understand why Einstein was such a genius. So for decades, the doctor kept the brain in a beer cooler in his basement. Every once in a while, he would cut off a piece and send it to a brain researcher. One scientist who studied Einstein's brain found that Einstein's parietal lobes were 15% wider than the average brain. Another study found that the part of Einstein's brain that carries information from the brain's right hemisphere to the brain's left hemisphere, they were much thicker than the average brain. In other words, his brain contained more wiring, more connections than the average brain. Anyway, the doctor who performed Einstein's autopsy and kept the brain in his basement, that doctor died in 2007. And so for the past 25 years, nobody knew where Einstein's brain was. Uh, until now, I was able to track it down. I found uh, the jar that contains Einstein's brain and I was able to hold it in my hand. And I, w and I wrote about how I found it in my new book, The Einstein Effect, uh, which you can pre-order now wherever you buy books, The Einstein Effect. I think what's most interesting in this whole saga of Einstein's brain is not the physical brain itself, but what Einstein and his brain represent. He looked at the world with a sense of curiosity and, and he was always seeking answers to life's biggest questions. He wanted to know our place in the universe. And in an age when we're always on our phones and we're always checking social media and we're simply flooded with information all day, we should all look to Einstein and his genius as a source of inspiration. You know, what would Einstein think of this? What would Einstein think of that? That to me is what Einstein's brain truly represents.